three straight days is a really, really great day. Good workout. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Great. What uh, would you like? Uh, it seemed like the defense was flying around again. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, like I said, I've always thought at this time of year, this early in camp, if the defense doesn't dominate and do some things, then you got a problem defensively. But saw some new faces out there step up and make some plays, and it was good to see. I'm one of those guys, Derek Pitts. I mean, he's a he's a guy from just down the road, and and obviously he's new to this system, but it looks like he's uh, acclimating himself pretty quickly. Well, he's starting to figure out what's going on. You know, we're a little, a little different here defensively what they were what he played before. So he's starting to understand our scheme, and you can tell once he understands what he's doing, he plays pretty fast. So it's good to see him getting in there a good couple plays. Same thing with Quentin. I thought Quentin Dean made a couple plays and. Uh, and uh, or Quinlan Dean, and I got Quentin, and I got Quinlan. So Quentin uh, you know, did some nice things, and Quinlan Dean also did some good things. So it's, it's good to see those young guys in there and some new faces making plays. We're going to need everybody when it comes down to it. You feel like Pitt's physicality has really grown from high school. It seemed like, yeah, I mean, he took down Knox pretty uh, pretty handily there with a nice form I think tackle. It's grown, I think it's grown since he got here in June, you know, I mean, to be honest. I mean, you know, he was he was not in very good shape when he got here, and, uh, and you know, he's developed over the summer. and. You continue to work really hard, and uh, you know I like what I see out here at this point. You know, offensively, I know that uh, you know there were some throws. Grant Wells is another guy that uh, continues to impress. Made a pretty nice throw to Gamage in the end zone, uh, where Gamage could hop on it. Grant's as good a young freshman as ever been around. You know, he's just true freshman right now. You don't think you think he's been around here for a long time, but he's a true freshman this year. So yeah, he's he's a tremendous player. He's got a lot of a lot of potential, a lot of talent. We're glad he's here. He's, this has to continue to develop, but. Yeah. Uh, I know you've talked about it before, but how, is that the product of him getting here early and then rolling early yeah, in that, yeah, having that spring? You know, not only just yeah, the, the mental part of it, the physical part of it. You know, he's in a weight room and you know he's part of us all, all winter and then of course all summer. So he's so much further ahead than what a normal freshman would be, especially the quarterback position. Doc, uh, you got so many good young backs behind the two guys yeah. that are starters. It just seemed like uh, you know we saw a different number in their play. Every play after play and make a play. Well, I think it's, uh, as, we, as we remember a year ago, I mean, Knox had, didn't play a game, to, uh, didn't play, line up, I think it was week nine. You know, didn't touch the football at the running back position. So, you know, those young guys, I like what I saw out of, I think all three of them were really good players. And, uh, you know, we just got, you know, Naj McDaniel, I thought, made a tremendous run. But all those guys, Sykes and uh, Pepperon, all of them uh, are what we're supposed to have here at, at the running back position. But you know, I think Joe Early's playing well. I think uh, Sheldon Evans, so, you know, Kyle Tyler, King, and Knox. But, yeah, as we, you know, you think, you, got, you think you're loaded. And then all of a sudden, about the ninth game last year, we're sitting there with just a couple of guys. And Knox has to come in, and, and, uh, and he was ready to go. So one of these young backs has to do the same thing this year because at some point, their numbers going to get called and they got to be ready to play. I know we've talked about the uh, the wide receivers, the older graduate transfer wide receivers that have come in, but a guy that just seems to keep making plays, Stone Scarcelli, and you talk to the strength guys, and they're like, that's a product of what he did in the offseason, that, that progress that you're seeing out here. Well, two young guys I know is sort of Stone and, and Gant, Corey Damage. And the thing I like about both those guys is they're both doing a tremendous job on special teams. You know, Stone's right now, and, and Corey both are on our punt team. You know, they're on our punt block team. You know, they're on kickoff return team. So that's how the wide receivers will get in the game if they can play special teams. And those young kids, not only are they playing special teams, but they understand uh, you know, techniques and what it takes to be a good special team player. So that's going to carry a long ways with those guys as far as getting the playing time. All good? Yes,